Hey everyone, just thought I'd make a intro video to diamond painting and this is the only diamond painting I really have in, on hand right now and it's a pretty big one so I'll uh, kind of show you how to start that out. Okay, so I thought I would start with um, the kind of the basics here. So every diamond painting either has square drills or round drills. And these pieces here, I'll show you, um, these are the square kind. So see, they're like, these are called drills, the little pieces that you use. And these are the square shape. And then this is how usually... Your things, your drills will come. These are the round ones. I'll pull them up. Oh, sorry for the glare there. Here's the different round ones. They come in this pack. Usually, like this one, you can see there's numbers on there. So they'll be numbered with their DMC. It's D as in dog, M as in Mary, C as in cat color and that's what helps you identify which color it is and every diamond painting will have either this clear coating which I know some people don't prefer because I think it crinkles and makes noise but I like it because you can see through it and I try to do like all of one color at a time but you just peel this back and see like the it's sticky and that's what your little p drills will stick to. It'll either have this clear plastic or it'll have a piece like this or it's like a glossy paper which you would peel off and then I just kind of rip off in sections sometimes. As you can see here, it's just kind of ripped up. All right now for supplies. These are a couple... Um, handmade diamond painting pens. These do not come with a kit with your diamond painting kits, but you can order these through Etsy. Now I've been seeing them on Amazon, but like this one has sticky tack um, in the top there and you just twist it and so it's kind of got its own sticky stuff built into the top there. And then uh, this one doesn't have anything on the end, just like made out of like acrylic or resin. And then this one has one that you have to add wax to. So all your tips will be like this. Uh, and then this one has a multi-placer on the end, which you also can dip into wax. You can do multiple drills at one time. And this one has the bumps because they say it's better for your hand, you know, kind of to make it more comfortable. A lot of the kits will come with tweezers as well. So some people will pick up their um, drill pieces or sometimes I use it to like, you know, straighten out the lines and stuff. But most of your kits will come with, and you'll see... Each one's come with all the same things. So basically these pens here, some, you know, have nothing on the end and some have the multi-placers like this one here. But um, they all have the same kind of tip. I'm trying to get it to focus here. Okay, let's see, like, there we go. And, uh, and then they'll all come with a tray. So there's ones like this, uh, or a lot of them come with the green boat type style like this. And then you can also order those on Etsy because they make bigger ones. And then you'll get a block of piece of wax. So let me just show you the size. Um, some come, oops, come in a little square, like I have 
these kind of strips here. I have this smaller square here that I've used and like for the multi-placer. And then I also have, sorry for the shaking, trying to, this big piece here, which is basically two strips together. And some kits will come with these little baggies, so I use these to put my extra drills in when I'm done with the painting. But those are basically all the supplies that you need. It's like the pen, like a pen, the little tray, or the boat, That's a, and then like you don't really need the tweezers, but just the pen, the wax, and your little tray to put it in. Okay, so um, how I set up my diamond paintings currently, I'll use like these little cups I got off like Amazon. But people sometimes they use like these little cubes or just whatever works best for you. The little boats. But I'll dump the, all the bags into here and then just put the top on. Put a piece of masking tape with the number. So like I'm going to use this pack to show you guys kind of how to start it. So 3609 would be the pink color. And let's see... So I'm thinking it's saying there's about 500 in here. Sometimes they'll tell you like how many. So that's 500. And since this is bigger, it seems like, yeah, that would be the count. It would be 2,000 about in there. So these ones I'd pour in, put a piece of masking tape that says 3609. So that way, I'm going to move you guys. Um... Right over here is where you would match it up to the numbers and so you can see what symbol goes where. So I'll start up in this corner, but right now I'm just going to dump them in the tray and then I'll show you how I get started. So dump them out and of course they go flying. Um, so, sorry if I'm saying so a lot, but you take this pen and then you just push it down into the wax and bring it out and you see it'll have the wax in the tip there. And then I give the tray like a little shake so you just dump them out here. You want to kind of make sure... You try to get them like kind of face up like this area here. And then, so this symbol 3609 will be for these part of this pink area up here. Like these symbols. So you'll just come over here, which I'm doing this through the phone, so it's kind of strange. And you just put it down. And see, sometimes I'll use this to kind of get it, push it into place. And you put it down and match the symbol. So, just, and then sometimes, since like, uh, the same symbol is all next to each other, like how all these are lined up here, you can take this multi-placer end and put it down. I'm trying to do this so you can see, like, put it down, and you can pick up, like, all these four together, and then try to line it up, and then you can put them all and do that whole line right there. So, that's why I kind of like this clear cover, because I'll go through and try to match you know, do a good section of one color. And then, you know, before I move on to the next one. And then when I'm done with that section that I'm working on, I'll just dump these back into the cup. Like this. 
and then put the lid back on and I kind of have like a little basket I put all the cups in laid out like in ones or two rows of two so that way you can uh, see them easily and I go back to them so basically that's how you would get started sometimes they <laughs> will fly around and stick to the canvas but you just want to make sure afterwards you just cover it back up so it stays nice and sticky and yeah that's basically how you start with diamond painting so comment below if there's any questions you have or about anything in the process or if you've gotten a diamond painting and have a question for me and again this will be the picture that I'm working on here up in the corner this little scenery landscape so this should be fun but this one is just a pretty long one let's see if I can keep you steady here it goes all the way down to here so this is a pretty long one that hangs over the edge of the table here but thanks all for taking a peek and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe thank you